What up, homes? It's time to start our eBay breaks. We're going to go ahead and start off with 2018-19 NBA Hoops Basketball. 10 box, half case break number number 7. That's one. Alright, let's put that on the screen. Boom, there you go. Not cool, not cool. Dropping the shades. Alright. I think I'm going to order pizza, dude. I am hungry. Let me go grab this case. Here is the case. I really wish I had a helper for this. That's six. Eight. And two. Alrighty. Coolsies. What up, Empire? Well, Jimbo, right now we're about to undertake this hoops journey. Have a case of it for eBay. How's everything with you, Jimbo? Anybody want to order me a pizza? That'd be cool. What kind of shoes are these? I think those are the, those James Harden shoes. How's everybody doing today? Try to get through this break as quickly as possible. While also separating the uh, rookies and the inserts from the uh, veteran base. Oh, you talking about uh, you talking about Abraham? You talking about Abraham right here? Yeah. You're thinking of some shirt designs. How about putting this on a t-shirt? This right here. Yeah. Actually, we did that, I think, apparently. Supposedly. Uh, I think Jason made some t-shirts for us, now that you mention it, Empire. Yeah, we got Abraham. He, he's, he's, he's chilling. Uh, yeah, so anyway, apparently Jason 
made some t-shirts for us. I wonder, I wonder where he, uh, or I should say when we gonna get them bad boys. Because I'm ready to rock that thing. I saw the design, it's pretty much just a plain white t-shirt with our logo. Huge logo on the chest. Like, there is no way you can't see it. Like, even if you were blind, you'd be like, damn, that's a big-ass logo. Nah, we already took care of it, Empire. I mean, what, what do you, what's, that's kind of random. Is that what you do for a living? Do you make t-shirts? Well, it's for it's for us, Empire. So far, it's for me and Jason. We ordered, I think he said he ordered like six double uh, XL t-shirts, I, I believe. Six, maybe ten, I don't know. I don't know the details. But if I could have one, if I could have, if I could, if I could have at least five, that'd be great. So I could wear a different one every day. And be fresh to death every day. But it would be nice to get some stuff for the uh, for the store so that you guys could uh, could buy. That'd be you know a little merchandise maybe. We'll see. Go to Hayward ninety nine for the Celtics. Yeah, you know, I know people have have mentioned that they would buy it, but realistically, would they? It all depends, really, on, on how nice the shirts come out. We shall see. Ooh, that's a good one. DeAndre Ayton. So that's how you start the day off right there, baby. DeAndre Ayton of the Suns with the autograph. What up, Marcus? How are you? You would buy one, uh, Empire. What size do you wear? I think that, like, I think that would be one of the most difficult things is figuring out like what sizes to get. Dream on Green, twenty eighteen Warriors. Bradley Beal, 2018 Wizards. I think I am going to order a pizza. Possibly after this break. I did not, Jimbo. I did not. That's, that's impressive. Ooh, skip to my Lou. Rafer Austin of the Rockets with the autograph. 53 points is impressive. Whether male or female, 53 points is 53 points. You're a large A. Empire, do you follow our, uh, or I should say, are you a member of our Facebook group? Got a random this. Got a Timberwolves Rockets on there. Jason Tatum, 999 Celtics. Oh no one well no wonder you know Jimbo. 
if she was from you know if she was from Florida, I, I don't think you would. Well, maybe you would tell me because she's from Florida. Like, hey, Je you know, hey, Jesse, did you hear about that that Florida woman? If she was from like North Dakota, you wouldn't say anything. I I always pick on North Dakota. I feel like it's the most random state. It's the most random state I know. I don't know. Maybe a total of like three dozen people live out there. Oh, you follow us on the gram piece? Gotcha, gotcha. No, the gram is cool too. I need, I, I need to figure out how to post polls on inst uh, on Instagram. I don't know how to do that. But I'll put like, uh, I don't know, I think I'll do like uh, some market research. And maybe do like a week long poll or two weeks or so, maybe a month long. And just keep bothering people every day with the same question. What size t-shirt do you wear? Wow, Jim. You guys are getting uh, news over in Australia months late? No bueno. Have you heard of this thing called the internet? Ninety-nine for the Lakers. That's nice. Tony Parker of the Hornets. Autograph. Kind of. Uh, Random seeing him in a Hornets uniform. He should have just retired. I mean, I, I guess he could still play basketball. Backing up Kemba Walker. That dude's a beast. The problem, Empire, is... We have this, uh, we got to sell them, you know. I'm not going to order 50 smalls, and I'm only going to sell like two of them. That would just be dumb. So, now I want to know, like, how many of what size to order that I could, you know, rather, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Realistically sell, and, you know, and, you know, at, at the very least, make my money back. Oladipo Pacers, 2018. I think for the most part, our crowd is uh, large and above. I think that's a safe bet, because even even if you're you know, if you're small, you can grow into your large, you know. Anthony Davis, 2018 Pelicans. 
uh, Louie, we do have Prism uh, for eBay coming up. That's all that all that stuff's already been sold out. The the listing sold yesterday. Or I should say finished yesterday. Uh, we do have more uh, listings for Prism Football on our eBay site. If you would like a link, uh, here it is in the chat. There it is. Uh, but we also have a website, you know, because once I'm done with these uh, four eBay breaks here, that's it for eBay. After that, I'll be focusing on the breaks in my site, which is ripcitycars.com. Uh, new customers do save fifteen dollars on their first purchase. All you have to do is register for an account, then shoot me an email, and I'll go ahead and uh, shoot you that fifteen dollar discount code. Uh, check that out right there, Jaron Jackson Jr., rookie for the Grizzlies. He could be big time. That's a that's 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 a really good rookie right there. Eight in and Jackson so far, not bad. I know, right, Aaron? Not, you know, it's, uh, I mean, are we surprised? It is your boy. With that being said, dude, we did a case yesterday for the store, man, and it's unfortunate. It was probably the worst case of hoops I've seen yet. It was bad. This is obviously coming off a fresh case, so, you know, we'll see how, what happens here. But uh, that break we did last night for, for the store was no bueno. Jer uh, Jeremy Grant, 199 Thunder. But we are out of, we are already sold out of hoops for the store. That's been done. The rest of the hoops we do have is for eBay. And that's about to run out soon, too. I think this is the last of it. I think. I want to get that immaculate popping though. That is my goal for today. Is to do immaculate. shot here let me send this text out maybe we can get this immaculate basketball uh, filled a little quicklier here the ball rolling on that immaculate basketball man did you Aaron oh dude ridiculous box ridiculous box Maybe, just maybe, we can get this immaculate popping. Marcus, 
Are you down to help us feel immaculate tonight? Since you're filling the basketball? Gotcha, Marcus. That makes sense. I've been meaning to talk to you about that anyways, uh, Marcus, because I know you also make t-shirts. What up, Three Maculate? Three Maculate got a question here. Uh, does anyone know how much a Terrence Ferguson Revolution Galactic card uh, usually sells for? Uh, Three Maculate, uh... I could I would suggest going on ebay.com and uh, looking up you know type it up Terrence Ferguson Revolution Galactic and you should look up the sold uh, listings you can get a good idea there uh, and people in the chat come through and help my boy three maculate out So I think I've pretty much decided I'm going to order a pizza. Anthony Davis, 2018 Pelicans. What's everybody's favorite pizza chain? I think there's like the big three all across the uh, this, this beautiful country of, uh, of ours, the good old United States of North America. Uh, I would say Pizza Hut is number one. Domino's number two. And, you know, despite the controversy, I'm going to have to give it to Papa John's at three. Ooh! A Kyrie Irving Celtics autograph. Very nice. No, I would, I would definitely, I would definitely go to, uh, go to the stuff crust all day, every day. That, that's why, that's why, honestly, that's why Pizza Hut's number one. I think they're the only chain that does the stuff crust business. That that was a game changer when they introduced that bad boy. I don't know about the extra cheese, you know, because I'm gonna. I'm going to hate myself after eating the pizza since I'm uh, lactose intolerant. But dang it, a man wants pizza. James Harden, 2018 Rockets. I will I will take that uh, that hit, so to speak, for the momentary bliss of uh, of a stuffed crust pizza. I might do I might do like extra pepperoni. That, that's that's what I might do. We got KD, no, 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 Warriors. What up, big Greg? We have Hamido Diallo, rookie for the Thunder. Chilling, or, or is it your day off, uh, Bigger? What happened to your homeboy? What's his name, Chris, I think? I already forgot. I don't see that dude no more buddy that worked with you or something like that. See, I don't even remember that anymore. Nikola Vucevic, one in that magic, I remember that. Kells, that guy, exactly. What's up with that, uh, what's 
So with that guy. Can't come by and say hi to Uncle Jesse. See how people are. Tyler Johnson at 25 for the Heat. We need to get rid of that guy. I like Tyler. Hard worker, man, but... Yeah. Not worth that money we paid him. Ah, he moved across town, so he's uh okay. So he's still in the in the process of going through all that. Understandable. Uh, I'll give I'll give him a pass. I'll give him a pass. So anyway, Marcus. Any any interest in helping fill immaculate basketball tonight? What up, Sebastian? How are you? Some teams moving here in this uh, immaculate business, baby. All right, let me see what Uncle Jesse can do. I gotta whip some up here. Gotta whip some up. The Hornets. Trying to make these moves. Immaculate is going tonight. That is my goal. I also want to help. Well, of course, want to fill prison as well. Let's see for these other teams. Aaron, I'm pretty sure that's just, like, man law. Yeah, Marcus, that's what I'm trying to do. 
I got my boy Corey that I'm texting here. He usually gets, you know, he usually hunts for the big teams. So if I can get him to get the big teams, I know that I can get the rest of the teams going tonight. Today was the trading deadline for uh, for for football, right, Big Greg? I don't know what the Dolphins did. I think we signed a D lineman or something like that. But yeah, Aaron, I think I think every man has been in your position at some point or another, you know. I per I dude, I haven't been in a relationship in a long time. But you know, I do remember those times like you know your girl would just call you like. Oh, I just want to hear you breathe, I'm like girl. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do something right now. You know, call me when you got something to say. Ugh, like they hate that. All right, we got a random that. Women are just completely different creatures. But you gotta love them. For the Celtics, Dino Raja. For the Celtics. Golden Tate to the Eagles. Demarius Thomas to the Texans. Whoa. Texans picking up a low-key big-time receiver right there. Aaron Holiday, 99 Pacers. Big Greg, since you're probably on the NFL website, what did the Dolphins do today? Jason Tatum, 99 Celtics. Tyus Jones, 25 Timberwolves. Kevin Herbie of the Thunder, the rookie autograph. Ah, Jimbo, yeah. D. Mitch, Shit. Power move has been made. Alright, let me finish this up. Dude, Immaculate Basketball is feeling tonight. It is feeling tonight. Ricky Rubio, 2018 Jazz. Marcus, you're another one of my high rollers. If you want to uh, talk a little business here on the remaining teams in Immaculate. Talk to me. Damien Dotson, one ninety nine Knicks.
afternoon. Power move has been made. So I gotta take this stuff out of the store. Seven teams gone. Let's see, where are they? Got him. And what is that? Fifteen? Yep. Boom. Back of the basketball, number three down to 15. Yeah, I didn't think so, uh, Big Greg. teams hell yeah Yeah, I'm surprised Le'Veon Bell did not get moved. Alright, so the Bucks are gone now too. A 14 teams. Guys, get your team in Immaculate Basketball. Number three in the store. That stuff, that is filling tonight. Book it. Grab your team because it's filling. Let's see. The Bucks are gone. The Kings are gone. The Knicks are gone. Mavericks are gone. Pelicans are gone. Hornets are gone. Blazers are gone. And the Rockets are gone. It's 
still got the Sixers up there. So there's a big team that people could go for in that thing. What's the deadline for him to sign that tender? I know he said he needs to sign. His, uh, what's it called? The franchise tag or whatever, so that he could actually be a free agent next year. By week 10, he's got to do it. What week are we on? I think we're on week 8 or now week 9. He's got another week or two. Dude, Le'Veon is chilling. He's going to show up at the very last minute, sign that contract. If they play him, they play him. If they don't, they don't. And then he's just going to sign with the team next year. And he'll sign like a short-term deal. He'll sign like a, he'll, he'll sign like a year deal for X amount of money. Ball out in that one year, and then you're gonna want to resign them for stupid money. That's me looking into my crystal ball. And here, uh, looked into my crystal ball, and here is a Charles Oakley for the Knicks autograph. Milos Teodosic, 25 Clippers. Actually, this goes here. Chris Paul, 999 Rockets. Dude, Clay Thompson broke that broke the NBA record. Steph Curry's record at that. What was it for most threes in a game? I think he hit 14. He had like 52 points or something like that. Kyle Kuzma, 199 Lakers. About uh, really, Jim? What, what do you mean, Jimbo? What are you trying to do? Chimezi met two. Spurs on a graph. Fourteen and twenty-four. That's that's ridiculous. Shot like over fifty percent from the line from the three. That's just that's just dumb. That's video game shit right there. And it's funny because I was watching Sports Center, and I think they put up like a, a you know a stat. They were like, "Oh, Clay Thompson so far this year has like the worst you know field goal percentage of of, of his entire career, or something like that." And then sure enough, the guy goes off. LeBron 2018 Cavs. That team is too loaded, man. On any given night, they got at least four players that could just go off. Chris Middleton 2018 Bucks. 
and and this is without boogie. I wonder what that team's gonna play like when Boogie comes back. Boogie be shooting the three though, so it's gonna be interesting what that lineup is gonna look like with him in it. Play is the best third option in NBA history. Ooh. That is, uh, that's a pretty big statement. Pretty big statement. What's up, uh, Chris Fitz? How are you? Third option, Aussie Jim, would be pretty much your, your third your uh your, your third um basically the other literally you're like your third best player i guess You know, Aaron, I'm I'm biased in this one, but I would say Chris Bosh, man. Chris Bosh doesn't get a lot of uh, a lot of respect for what he did when he was with the Heat, man. But he was he was arguably our most important player. He was arguably our most. You know what I mean? Like he was, man. He was. He was big time, man. He did all the little things that nobody like really saw. You know, and when he was playing that for my money, I thought he was probably the the one of the best big men in the game. But, you know, that whole blood clot situation, that uh, they had literally ended his career. This is true, yeah. Bosch never, yeah, he was never, like, one of those that would drop, like, you know, 150 on any given night. But he was, you know, he was, he was a stud defensively. You know, nobody talks about Chris Bosch's defensive versatility. He could arguably guard, you know all five positions at least nowadays you know the guards are, are bigger now and Chris Bosch man he had the lateral quickness he cut you off you know he could contend the jumper and a really smart player but of course I am biased when it comes to Chris Bosch because I'm a Heat fan Let's add the Spurs to this mix. Dude, Lamar Odom was a beast too, man. For the 
for those championship runs, definitely. Trying to make these moves. Immaculate is feeling tonight. I, I want to consider Rodman a third option, though. You know, you, I couldn't, I couldn't go to Rodman and be like, "Get me a bucket." You know what I mean? Oh, snaps! That's what I'm talking about. And just like that, immaculate basketball down to eleven teams. St. Louis Cards fan, Jay, what up? So much hatred. What you talking about, Chris Fitz? All I'm, all, I'm all about love, man. I'm all about love, positivity, good vibes, you know. Just chill, man. Oh, yeah. Immaculate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Did you, could you read the message? All right, so now Spurs are gone. The Bulls are gone. And the Pacers are gone. Eleven teams. Sixers and the Sun still up for grabs. Well, what he put in the chat, uh, Fitz. And now, now everybody want to blow me up. Uh, no, Fabrice, we, we don't have any more uh, hoops. Oh, so yeah, that's what, exactly what I'm talking about, Chris Fitz. Because for me, it's it's you can't see it on my end. But I guess you can still see it on yours, huh? So then, you know, for that, you know, I got a little something. So I got something I can do. I can do that. There we go. All right. Bright Reeves, big country for the Grizzlies. We have Terrence Ross, 99 Magic. I would consider Ginobili a third option because he, he was coming off the bench. So that's a great third option right there. Ooh. What about this one? What about my main man? Damn, I forgot his name already. Rasheed Wallace. On those Pistons teams back in the in the early two thousands, you know, I would say your first option was probably Chauncey, second option Rip, and your third option was you know once they got him in a trade, Rashid, Zaire Smith of the Sixers autograph. You know, this is true. Tayshawn Prince was in there too. Those are man, those are great teams. We're talking best third option in NBA history, Chris Fitz.
Get around that. Oh, dude, Ben Wallace probably the, the the best defensive player ever. And that's and, and I say that with the utmost confidence. Ben Wallace in his prime, dude, people forget. That dude was winning defensive player of the years back to back to back to back. Ben Simmons 2018 Sixers. You can put Ben Wallace in any generation. In the 60s, 70s, 80s, that dude is going to be a uh, He's going to shut you down. He, he ain't going to score a bucket. He, he might get like, you know, a little dunk here and there. But you're not going to score. Period. Elio Kobo, 189 Suns. What about Kevin Garnett on those uh, Celtics teams? I would say Paul Pierce was the first option, Ray Allen the second, and KG the third. James Harden, 2018 Rockets. Uh, Jonas Valanciunas to 25 Raptors. Jerry West was the best third option. Oh, you taking it way, way back. I think Jerry West was coming off the bench towards the end of his career. Oh, damn, he had Will and Elgin Baylor? Interesting. Elgin Baylor, probably the greatest player to never win a championship. LeBron James, 99 Cavs. You sure, Chris Fitz? Well, maybe I'm thinking of an another player that didn't win. Well, he probably won a championship, but he was hurt or something like that, so it doesn't really count for him. Well, for him, anyway, it doesn't count. But I guess in the books, it does. Or who am I thinking of? Tony Kukoc would be a great third option. You know, of course, you got Michael, one, Scotty, the two. And who coached your third option? Peja Stojakovic back in the day. I would say he was, you know, a third option. First was Chris Weber. Second, Bibby. Third's Peja. I like Antoine Walker on the 2006 Miami Heat team. Dwayne Wade, the first option. Shaq, the second. And Antoine, the third. And he was getting buckets. My boy was getting buckets. And on any given night, somebody would step up as a third option. You know, Jason Williams. James Posey. Udonis Haslam. Alonzo Mourning, Gary Payton, Jason Capono, Jason freaking Capono. I told you, Chris Fitz, I told you. I watched my fair share of basketball documentaries growing up. That's how, that's how I know some of the old school players, man. Like, as a scoring option, though, Aaron, Vlade Divac? Yeah, who remembers Jason Capono? 
or Michael Doliak or Wayne Simeon. Yeah, dog. I remember. I remember my Heat teams, man. I could probably tell you every member on a Heat roster of, as of like the last twenty years. I'm telling you, man. I ride or die for my Heat. I like our team this year. We had a bad loss last night, but the Kings, man, the Kings are nasty. They got they got a nice young team. De'Aaron Fox is a freaking bully. And he's only like 20. Ray for Alston, a former, you know, Miami Heat legend too. We've dude, we've had some ballers come through the the Heat locker rooms, man. Penny freaking Hardaway played for the the Heat at one point. Steve Smith, Jamal Mashburn. We've had some good ones. Tim Hardaway. Marcus Aldridge, 2018 Spurs. Clay Thompson, best third option ever. Maybe. I mean, you know that 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 book is still being written. As of right now, though, I wouldn't call him the best third option ever. You know, because there's still all of NBA history to go back on. My thing is this, though. Like, how successful would Klay Thompson really be if he didn't play on that Warriors team? I mean, I don't know. Russell Westbrook, 2018 Thunder. Ah, this is true. At that, at that, you know, for that brief period, James Harden on the Thunder teams back in the day, day. Which isn't even like back in the day. That was like five years ago. <laughs> Glenn Rice, former Miami Heat legend. Miles Bridges, 199 Hornets. We've had a few, man. We've had a few. I can't believe Shaq played for the Heat like that. Bro, I'll never forget when we got Shaq in a trade. I had woken up. I think it was like a Friday or a Thursday. I, I, it was a school night. And I woke up in the middle because, you know, I sleep with the TV on sometimes. And I just remember waking up and then they were like announcing the trade like like, they were literally just breaking the news at, like, 2 in the morning or something like that. The Anthony Melton, Suns rookie autograph. And, yeah, man. Oh, the Heat the heat just traded for, you know, Shaquille O'Neal. Blah. And this is coming off Dwayne's rookie season where, like, I was looking forward to Dwayne Wade's, you know, sophomore season. Like, all right, I'm about to ball out. You know, cool, boom. You know, we're going to take a little step. We ain't taking no little step, man. We took a freaking leap into the elite in Dwayne's second year, man. Low key, we would have won the championship that season if Dwayne if Dwayne Wade's rib did not get broke during the uh, Easter Conference Final. Jamal Mashburn Mavericks. That's another thing that saddens me about Dwayne, man. Is I don't think people are gonna realize just how awesome he really was, bro. Josh Hart, ninety nine Lakers. Dwayne Wade is gonna be forgotten in, in NBA history, I think. And it's it's sad. But in my opinion, the third best shooting guard of all time. And I don't think it's a question. 
Michael Jordan 1, Kobe 2, Dwayne 3. And it's not even close. Like the disparity from 3 to 4 is huge. But again, this is my opinion. Uh, Clay Thompson, 2018 Warriors. Uh, for football, you mean Chris Fitz? The uh, good old NFL trading deadline. I like Demarius Thomas going to the Texans. You know, giving Watson another uh, another uh, another option there. Yogi Ferrell, 199 Kings. Uh, I like that the Dolphins added a defensive tackle, although I can't remember the dude's name. Uh, you know, because we're definitely hurting on the D line. But you know, but I'm I'm a little upset that we didn't maybe, you know, trade for uh, like another DB or something, man. Because not for nothing, we got a glor a glaring hole on defense in the name of Bobby McCain. Well, this is my thing, Jeffrey. I wouldn't consider Iverson a shooting guard. I know that's his position, but I would put I would put. Iverson at the one. I, personally, I would consider Iverson a point guard. That is me. That Again, my opinion. And while Iverson is my favorite player of all time, and Dwayne a very close second, if we were putting them head-to-head, -head, and I've seen them play head-to-head, -head, I would still choose Dwayne over Iverson. Yes, 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 and yes, uh, Chris Ritz. The thing with Dwayne is, if you look at his career, you also got to look at how much time he's he, he, he didn't play. And injuries aside, look at the numbers, man, when he did play. The greatest shot blocking guard in NBA history. The man averaged like two steals in a block for his career. Name another guard that's done that. You probably can't. And if you can, his name is Jordan. Averaged over 20 points for his career. He was probably... The most well-rounded shooting guard in NBA history in the sense that he could, not only could he just score, which is a shooting guard's, you know, position by nature is to just go out and score. He could defend, he could rebound, he could, you know, he could be a playmaker, get teammates involved. People really underestimate how big a game changer Dwayne Wade really was. McGrady... Never could get his teammates involved. Never made it out of the first round. McGrady, get the fuck out of here. Ray Allen, best third option in NBA history, arguably. Fuck out of here. Clyde the Glide Drexler, all right, I'll give it to you. That dude's a legend. But not better than Dwayne Wade. George Gervin, mm, the Iceman. I'm still going to give it to Dwayne. Reggie Miller, couldn't play a lick of defense. And Dwayne would shut that shit down. Bro. D. Wade, the greatest, the third greatest shooting guard of all time. Not up for discussion. And as far as Allen Iverson is concerned, I, dude, I love Allen Iverson. But if, you know, pound for pound, the best player in NBA history. Agreed. Yes. But if we're putting, if, if, if you had, if you ask me, hey, Uncle Jesse, you have to choose between Allen Iverson or, you know, or Dwayne Wade when you're building your team. Who are you picking? I'm picking Dwayne every single time. I hear you. I hear what you're saying about Iverson never playing with a with a superstar. But whose pro, whose fault is that? And you know, come on now, he played with Carmelo, and they couldn't even make it out the West. You tell me Carmelo's not good like LeBron. 
Because for a time, he was up there. Kevin Werner, 99 honks. You also have to take into consideration how these people play. All right. Eldon Campbell, Lakers autograph. The reason why LeBron worked with D-Wade, because, you know, D-Wade was willing to pass the ball. Same with Shaq. And Shaq has said it time and again. You know, he loved playing with Dwayne because he knew he could get, you know, get him the ball when he needed it. You know, unlike Kobe, you pass the ball to Kobe, the ball, the ball ain't going to move. He's going to shoot that thing. But Dwayne Wade is going to try to, you know, get, 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 get everybody involved. Whatever, Chris Fitz. I'm not even going to bother clicking on that. We got Ellie Okobo for the Suns. Suns have been crushing this break, Loki. Pulled, pulled, the very first autograph was Aiton, by the way. For those of you that are uh, just tuning in or anything like that, I always do a recap at the end of the break, by the way. So, no worries there. Aaron, so so picture that. I Iverson was way out of his, according to you, way out of his prime with the Nuggets, and he was still putting up 30 points easy. Come on. C come on, come on. Was he really out of his prime? JJ Reddy, 2018 Sixers. Uh, dude, again, I love Allen Iverson. But the way he played... It, he, he could not... The only the only thing I would say is AI would, would have been amazing with a big man. That's, that's all AI would have ever needed, was a big man. Like, if AI played with Shaq, oh my God. Forget about it. You know, forget a three peat. Them boys gonna win like five, six straight. And I, I love AI, man. But I, I would take I would take D Wade. That yeah, exactly. That's that's what that's what I'm saying about Dwayne. That's my argument is because of his injuries. And because of all that stuff, people are going to forget how great Dwayne Wade really was. Sergi Baca, 2018 Raptors. You know, people always, oh, he had Shaq. He, he did have Shaq, but people forget Dwayne still carried that team. J.J. Barrio, 189 Mavericks. If before his like first major injury, which I want to say was in 07, the year, yeah, the yeah, it was the year after they won the championship. Jalen Brown, 2018 Sixers. If you look at his like first four years, bro, as a pro, his numbers are stupid. What was it, Chris Fitz? Was it like a rookie D-Wade or something? I love me some D-Wade, man. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying about D-Wade, man. It's because of his injuries and how much time he missed. And, you know, even though he came back from the, those injuries and he was still a great, great player. Like, come on. That 08-09 season, or I think it was 09-2010 where D. Wade put up like 35 points on average a night. Came, I think he came like second in the MVP votes that year. Lost to LeBron or some bullshit. And he was the only player on that team. The only dude. Ballin'. D. Wade might be the best player ever to never win an MVP. There you go, lost it to D. Rose. And the reason he lost to D. Rose, because D. Rose, not for nothing, was 
one balling uncontrollably. This is when I was looking at D Rose like, God damn, this kid is, this kid is scary. Like this kid is, like dude, that's another kid, man. D Rose, at least D, like Dwayne Wade when he came back from his shoulder injury, he like he was still D Wade. You know what I'm saying? D Rose was never D Rose after that, after his first injury. Jerry West never won a MVP. Yeah, that's another dude. See, there you go. But he's the logo, though, so that's a good trade-off. You know, if you're the logo, that's a good, you know. Oh, that is nice. From Immaculate? Ooh, that's sexy. Speaking of Immaculate, Immaculate's going to fill tonight. I, th I believe it's down to nine teams left. The Heat are already gone. But I'm feeling Immaculate tonight. That's happening. I'll put a put a filler together, and we'll get that thing knocked out tonight. Brandon Roy, another great player, lost to injuries. Greg Oden could have been awesome, but man. He, I don't want to call him a bust, but he might be the biggest bust in NBA history considering what you could have had in Kevin Durant as the second pick, might be. Right after Greg Oden. The Blazers, man. What are the Blazers doing? And now they got these two superstars, and they can't surround them with enough talent to play, you know, to win a championship out there. Dame Lillard and CJ McCollum. Maybe, maybe they gotta trade one of them. I'll admit, Aaron, Sean Kemp was past, you know, was before, you know, I was born. But I've seen tape on him, of course. I've seen, you know, documentaries on, on those uh, Thunder Supersonic teams and whatnot. But, like, actually, like, you know, just watch a game, I, I, I can say I've never done that. But his highlights are unreal. And I think he, too, succumbed to injury uh, fairly quickly in his career, I think. I think it was, like, his back or something like that. Is Michael Jordan really that much better than than Kobe? I mean, let's be real. Jalen Brown, nine 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 Celtics. Like I love Michael Jordan. But Kobe was the man. Of course I'm still gonna give the nod to Jordan, but you know, just trying to get a little combo here while I finish this up. Wendell Carter Jr. of the Bulls. Rookie autograph. Tyus Jones, 199 Timberwolves. Stacey Ogman of the Hawks. Okay. Right, Michael? This is true. If Michael had never retired both times, if he had just kept on playing, he he might he probably would have smashed all the NBA records, really. Except maybe I don't know, maybe 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 Kareem, but Kareem's the all-time sport, you know, point lead, like I don't know, man. That that number is crazy huge.
The steel stat is pretty out of range too. I think the number one, I think that's uh, John Stockton, the, the league leader, or I should say NBA history, you know, all-time steals. And, like, the difference from one to two is, like, stupid number. That might be an unbreakable record. But Kareem got a stupid amount of points, man. Got Darren Collison, 199 Pacers. Got Paul George, 2018 Thunder. Wasn't, wasn't Gary Payton hurt when uh, when they played them in the final? The Bulls and, and the Sixers? I mean, the, the Sonics? I got you, Aaron. I know this is not one of the easiest breaks to watch, considering just how many cards there are. Oh, this year's hoops is pretty good, man. I've maybe done like one case that was a dud, but all the other cases have been pretty good.
All right. Last box. And I got to say, it's been a really good break for the Suns. With maybe the exception of Charles Barkley, they've hit just about every autograph. And I read them out. Now I'm about right on schedule, about an hour and a half doing this. A little under an hour and a half. LeBron James, 2018 Chaos. All right, quick. Which is the best pizza joint of the three? Pizza Hut, Domino's, or Papa John's? And I'll, I'll throw a, I'll throw a hood favorite in there, Little Caesars. Dylan Brooks, one ninety nine Grizzlies. Chris Middleton, 2018 bucks. Contavious Cobble Pope, 99 Lakers. Papa John's gives you that extra grease. <laughs> Yeah, Fabrice, I'm I'm not surprised, man. He, he doesn't want to stick around for that uh for that for that Marlins uh circus. It's gonna be a while before we're good we're before we're a good team. But uh, you know, he doesn't want to stick around and wait for that. I mean, I don't blame him. Speaking of Heat Legends, our first pick ever, Ronnie Cycli of the Heat. That's awesome. That's a sweet card right there. Our first ever draft pick, Ronnie Cycli. The Heat are a relatively young franchise. We've only been around for like 30 years. Pascal Siakam, 199 Raptors. Such a young franchise, and yet we've accomplished so much. Go Heat! Clint Capella, 2018 Rockets. Excuse me. Oh, the banana pepper is a nice touch. I ain't even gonna lie, Aaron. I ain't even gonna lie. Banana pepper is a nice touch. But that stuff crust, though, dog. That's that's like the deal breaker for you for the kid. All right, so for these, I like to split them because I'm nice like that. All right, so for these, I like to split them if they if I have uh, multiples. In this case, I do. For these two, anyway. So this will go T Wolves, and this will go Rockets. Now for these, well, these we're gonna have to. Uh, let's see here. Random them. So it's either gonna go to the left or to the right. As you can see, a team on the left and on the right. I'm going to roll a die. 
If I get an odd number, it's going to go to the left side team. If I get an even number, right side team. Odd left, even right. Odd left, even right. Here we go. Odd. So it's going to go to the left side team. So Sixers, Warriors, Spurs. I read it on the card there. Oh my god, he's writing on the cards. <laughs> I wrote the R three times. Hungry Howie's that hood option. Never, never heard of Hungry Howie's. I'm assuming that's like a, a mom and pop shop in your neighborhood. For me, that would be Steve's Pizza. Oh, Steve's Pizza is the jam. I'm just way too far from one. All right, so recap time. We got Ronnie Cycling Heat, Mikhail Bridges Suns, Stacey Ogman Hawks, Carter Jr. Bulls, Okobo Suns, Campbell Lakers, Mashburn Mavericks, Melton Suns, Smith Sixers, Reeves Grizzlies, Metu Spurs, um, uh, Oakley Knicks, Hervey Thunder, Raja Celtics, Diallo Thunder, Irving Celtics, Jackson Grizz, Parker Hornets, Austin Rockets, and DeAndre Ayton of the Suns. And that was the break. Thank you, everybody. We'll get it out to you.